Welcome students in my new tutorial and my today's topic is using a macro as a function. So in my previous tutorial, I told you how to record a macro. So this time, I'll be teaching you how to use macro as a function. So directly, I'll start with the practical. So I'll go to tools macros now this time i have not to record a macro i have to do little coding so i have to go to organize macros here and you can write you can see here open office basic i have to just click here as a result open office basic macros dialog box will open so last time i told you that where it is written my macros when you click on plus sign and we were using this standard under standard module one. So these are the macros last time I had made. So this time I'll be using this one untitled one. So actually this is the name here. So what I'll do firstly close it. I'll save the file. And I'll save the file as using macro as function. So I'll save it under my student folder so that I can use it afterwards also. I'll click on save. So it is saved as using macro as a function. I've taken a new spreadsheet file. Now I'll go to tools, macros, organize macros. And then I'm using open office basic. Although I can use any one of the macros which has been made earlier by me and how to do that suppose I am clicking uh, this one formatting macro and for that I will click on edit. If I click on edit this window opens for me. I can do the changes here also. This is one method. So just now I'll close this one. My second method which I want to teach you today. Tools, macros, organize macros, open office basic. So this time I want to teach you to make a macro under using a macro as a function ODS under this, this option. Earlier I was using module one here under standard. But this time I'll be using using macro as a function ODS under this file. Here also you will find standard. I'll click on standard. Nothing is there. So I have to make one new module. So I'll click on new. You could see here module one option will come. So I have to click on new module option. And you could see here empty window which allows me for coding. So I can do any kind of coding. But I will not write anything between sub main and end sub. Either on the top I can write, either on at the bottom. So I will write something. I will try to make my own function. This is the coding window. And it helps me to type the coding part. So I will click, uh, I will press enter key. I will try to make a function, a simple function I will teach you. And in this function I want to display my name. So I will start with like function and then the name I'll give suppose function I want to give the name this is the name of the function so I am giving the name some meaningful name name F and then parenthesis open and close and then I have to define it so I'll write here name f is equal to inverted comma start because whatever I'll write and if it is a text especially text then I have to write with inverted commas and I am typing my name and then I'll close my inverted commas and then and 
function this i have to type that means my function is started from here and it is ending here i hope this is clear to you so just now i am minimizing i am not closing it i want to check whether my this function is working or not now i want to call this function is equal to name f and parenthesis open and parenthesis closed you could see here my name is coming that means my function is working properly i am calling my function earlier also i have taught you different functions like minimum max average so that were the functions which are in build this i had made my own function by doing the coding so i hope this is clear to you now i'll try to make some other function using the numbers suppose i am writing here new function i am making function add now again parenthesis open parenthesis closed now add is equal to suppose i am adding two numbers so 2 plus 2 and then I have to type here end function. So this is separate function. Okay. Now I'll just try it that whether it's working or not. So I'll write here is equal to add bracket start bracket close. You could see here it's adding my numbers. What I have given that in coding window. i'll try to change it 5 let's see is equal to add parenthesis open parenthesis closed so it's working fine so today i taught you how to use a macro as a function and i have used very simple technique i don't think so there will be any problem in this coding So you could see in this dialog box that this time we made the macros under using macro as a function with the same name which I am having with the file and under their standard then this module one I had made and here are the different macros main by default it's been given and name f and add I had made in front of you and last time I taught you under my macros standard and here also we were we were using and these were the macros which earlier i had used okay and if i want to delete any macro i can simply click on delete and it will be deleted so i'll close this one and i hope whole concept has been clear to you still if you are having any doubt you are free to comment so i'm closing my tutorial till then Okay bye bye take care and wait for my next tutorial